Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to go over the variable naming rules for JavaScript, and we will also see some suggestions, optional but highly recommended, for writing clean JavaScript code. Let's start. A variable name in JavaScript can contain letters and numbers, so you can write variable names with numbers. However, the names must start with a letter. You cannot start a name with a number or you will get a syntax error. Let's check this. Let's go to Visual Studio Code. I have a JavaScript file opened. Let's see what happens if I try to run a JavaScript program with a variable name that starts with a number. Let's see. Well, we don't even need to run the program because we see the error immediately. We see that an identifier or keyword cannot immediately follow a numeric literal. Okay, so you will get an error if you try to run this code and VS Code is warning you. Great, so now you know that this is a rule that you must follow. Variable names cannot contain spaces either. We will have to connect the words following a specific naming convention. And we will talk a lot more about this in just a moment. In JavaScript, we use a particular naming convention of using uppercase letters to start each word in the name. Let's see what happens if we try to add a space to the name of a variable. My name, you can see this right here. It doesn't detect that this should be part of the same identifier in the program. We will get an error. Variable names can contain underscores and a dollar sign, but they are usually used for very specific purposes. So I would not recommend adding underscores or the dollar sign unless you're absolutely sure that you could or should use it. And variable names cannot be reserved words, okay? So that's super important as well because usually you might be tempted to use a reserved word, also called keyword, in your program. For example, let's say that you want to use the name var here. You will get an error because JavaScript will not detect the meaning of this. It will not know that this is the intended name. It only knows that this is a reserved word or keyword in JavaScript. Let's say that you want to use const here instead. This is or should be part of the JavaScript syntax, not a variable. So JavaScript will not allow this. Awesome, so now you know the rules. Let's see some suggestions, which are optional but highly recommended. The names of your variables should be short and concise. Writing a long or very descriptive variable name will only make your code harder to read. So always try to keep them as short and concise as possible. The names should also describe the value they contain. If, for example, a variable is going to hold a string that represents a name, then you should describe that value, my name, your name, the name of the client. The variable should be descriptive and that will save you a lot of time. You will be able to see and understand the logic much more quickly. And the names should also be easy to understand. I personally don't recommend abbreviating words in the names because usually that can lead to confusions if you don't remember how or why you abbreviated a specific word. So always try to make them easy to understand. And you should also follow some naming conventions. A naming convention is a style for writing variable names. This style is very common among the developer community of a particular programming language. In JavaScript, we do have a particular naming convention that you should follow. It's not strict, you will not get an error in your code if you don't follow it, but it is highly, highly, highly recommended. Here we have see different naming conventions that you will find in different programming languages. First, we see snake case that separates the different words in the name with an underscore. You will see this convention being used in Python code. We also see kebab case, which uses a dash to separate the words, and pascal case. Pascal case starts every word with an uppercase letter, including the first one. But camel case, which is the naming convention that we use for JavaScript, starts with a lowercase letter. And then all the different words start with an uppercase letter. This is the naming convention that you should follow for JavaScript. Why is it called camel case? Well, you can see the shape right here. 
with the humps of the camel. So that is the same shape that we will get if we use this naming convention in our variable. We have uppercase letter and then another uppercase letter and you can see the shape. It's very similar to this that we have right here. Great, so now you know more about naming conventions in JavaScript, naming conventions, naming rules and suggestions. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.